welcome to this edition of Psychic Medium Tony Green. And I am Tony Green. For as long as I can remember, I've been able to hear and see spirit, get answers to people's questions, and let them know that their loved ones are okay on the other side. Today, I'm going to do a reading for Chris, and we're hopefully going to connect with some of her loved ones and answer some questions that she might have. Hi, Chris. How are you today? Hi. Good. Thank you. So the, I'm going to start right away because immediately I'm seeing a gentleman here. Now, Chris, before I start uh, talking, I'm going to tell you I can see some loved ones, I can hear some loved ones, and other loved ones I'll sense, even though many of them will be here today because I see them all coming in through the light now. Not all of them will speak. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go with what, those who step forward first. And the first person stepping forward is a gentleman. He was grandpa age. He had darker hair yeah. and it went gray. It definitely went gray. And I see him right next to your uh, right shoulder. And he's like whispering in your ear. He's always whispering in your ear. He's telling you things, helping you find things. He's, he's trying to tell you, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. You worry way too much. And he's saying that you have been very troubled. There's a lot of trouble going on and that you want to break free. He's like showing me break free. And he's saying that you are having difficulty knowing what the right path to do. Do you know who this gentleman is? Do you have a sense of who this is? I think it's my dad. Okay, good. Um, what was your dad's name? Ed. Ed. And, and then your grandpa is right behind him because I keep hearing grandpa, 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 grandpa. Now there's also a woman coming in who is fuller sized and older white hair. Are you, is this familiar to you right off the bat? I can't decipher if it's mom or grandma. I feel like this woman is definitely much older. She's presenting as grandma, grandma. over mom. Mom would show up a little bit younger. That's just how they do it for me. Yeah. So what I want to tell you, grandma is showing over there, mom is over here. Is it grandma with the butterscotch? Because I put my picture out. I, f I recently been cleaning a lot of things out, found mm -hmm. grandma's picture, put it in my room. and had the strong sense of her butterscotch that she was yeah. there. She is reaching in and pulling out butterscotch. But yes. it's grandma. <laughs> so she is here and she is saying, you know, calm, calm, calm. She's saying it's not as big as you think it is. It's not as um, much mm -hmm. as you think it is. Don't uh, get preoccupied with all of this other stuff. Make a path stick to it, go with it. You're, you're a very strong, independent woman, even though you don't feel like that at many, many times, she said, but now's the time to uh, kick, kick, up, kick up the dirt, kick up the dirt and, uh, <laughs> and, run, and run with it. So she wants you to know that. She wants you to know that that's, that's her message to you. Now, uh, there are a number of people I'm I'm seeing aunts or great aunts coming in. Aunt Marie and, and uncle. I feel I feel Aunt Marie. Yeah, and and did she have darker hair? At yes. One? Yep. She's right next to you, behind your right shoulder. Um, She's right here. Yeah, that's where she is, behind your right her. shoulder. I can yeah. Feel her. She has like this on you. Mm -hmm. So I want to tell you, the light comes in for me on the left. I'll see. Um, your past over here and your future over there. So when I'm looking over here, I'm looking into your future. When I'm looking over here, I'm seeing somebody from your past. And when I'm looking up here or closing my eyes, I'm seeing everybody come in for you. And one of the things that is a little bit unique about me is your whole lineage can come in. Again, not all of them are going to be talking today, but they're going to be here to help and support you move forward in your best path. So the first thing I want to do now that we have the, the posse here and everybody <laughs> that's here, what questions do you have for any of them and who do you have that question for? Oh my gosh. Grandma, are you are you are you in my room at night cuz I really feel her. I yeah. Feel her. She she is, you know, she's like rubbing your head at night and she's telling you oh. it's going to be okay. Don't obsess, don't upset. Are you obsessing a lot at night lately? Yes. Yeah. She's yes. saying, don't obsess, don't obsess, don't obsess. This is all going to wave away. It's all going to like wave away. Okay. It's all going to be done and over before you know it. Don't obsess. Don't try to 
predict the outcome, just keep moving forward in a solid way, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you have another question for anybody that's here? My dad. Okay, and I'm sorry, what's your dad's name? Ed. Ed, yeah. okay, what's your question for your dad? Well, I'm missing him, but I'm just, I, I don't know, I'm just confused about what to okay. say to him. I mean, what's he got to say? Does he have anything to say? Oh yeah, a lot. A lot. Your dad is very firm mm -hmm. in his speaking and he's saying, you know, sometimes enough is enough and stop piddle paddling around with this. Mm -hmm. um, you need to be direct, distinct, and define what you really want in your life. You need to take the bull by the horns, and he's literally showing me a bull and horns. You need to take the bull by the horns and you need to be proactive enough with the bull. Beep. Yeah. and get on with it. It's time to move forward and just um, enjoy your life. Stop spending so much time thinking about this other character when you can be having your life the way you want your life. You don't have to have it this way. In the blink of an eye, it can all change into something that you truly love if you take the right steps. I just need those steps. <laughs> and so, so somebody else just stepped in. Okay. I want you to know, you noticed the tone changed? Mm -hmm. So one of your guides has now stepped in. And your guide is simply saying, it's truly time for you to move forward and to make some steps that are going to be productive for your life. You've been in this situation long enough to know that nothing here is going to change. You're about to be freed up freed up, no more familiar obligations. You are going to be able to move forward and have what you want and do what you want without the restrictions that you've been experiencing in the past. You're going to be able to have your freedom. Do you have any questions about this? It sounds good, but I just don't know which to I mean, are they guiding me enough to put me on that path to get there? Absolutely, yes. We are always right guiding you. Yes, we are always guiding you. It is your fear that takes a longer step, that makes it take longer than it would originally take. In no circumstances do we want any soul down here to experience unhappiness. This is a school of love. If you are not learning in love, you're not learning. You're not, and you're mm -hmm. not progressing. So you have to learn in love. The first lesson of love is thy shall, thou, thou shall love thyself. Mm -hmm. And when you put up with things that are not it loving in nature, you are not respecting nor loving yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's time to say enough is enough and I will love myself now and I will not let anyone treat me in less than a loving way. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions about this? No. Do I you do. understand what we are saying? Yes. Soon you will have a certain amount of freedom and you will not have to have the obligation of everything that you have had to have all of this time. Mm -hmm. You will be able to relocate or to find a space that is more pleasing to you and not worry about all the burdens that you have been worried about. Mm -hmm. And now dad wants to jump back in because he's like, that's a very nice way of saying it. That's very eloquent. But let me tell you, he wants to kind of, dad wants to come in and put the snap down. Dad is like, uh -huh. get your butt in gear. You know what to do. It's time to do it. And then, and so you're very well aware of what they're all saying to you and why they're saying it. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now I'm seeing a bigger guy and I'm seeing him. He's, he's here on this plane. And I'm seeing him again. I'm seeing him 
uh, I'm seeing this bigger guy, he's, he's still in his physical body, and I'm seeing him in a hospital bed. And they're saying, don't worry about this, this is not your doing, this is not your problem, this is a ploy to get what, what um, mm -hmm. it's a ploy, it's a ploy, it's a ploy, it's a ploy, it's a ploy. So don't... To keep me yeah, tied down. To get back. what they want, to get, yeah. keep you yeah. under the thumb, so mm -hmm. to say, okay? Mm -hmm. So don't allow for that. When that time comes, you can be definitely compassionate and empathetic, but you do not have to run back and concede again. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. I'm seeing that this person will not change. Mm -hmm. They might say they will, but they will not. This person will not change, and they will not um, have the wherewithal to understand their part in this. Okay? Mm -hmm. You're going to be gifted. I feel that. I, I, I get pieces. Yes. And uh, I had a numerology thing done that said it's becoming an awakening between all of what's happened to me in the last year that it will change my life. Like she said with the... Uh, uh, you know, it is. It's a traumatic it thing, so it will change me. And it's supposed <clears throat> to, because if you were to stay on this path the way you were, mm -hmm. it would not serve your highest good. Now, as these gifts come in, you don't have to use them for others, but you absolutely need to use them for, for yourself myself. and your immediate family. Mm -hmm. You're going to have those moments when you know exactly what to do and when to do it. You've had a few of them in the past. There yes. are a couple coming in very soon that you're going to have to follow. <laughs> I just got a ooh. Yes. There's confirming that for you. Yes. There's definitely confirming that for you. So you're definitely going to have to follow that mm -hmm. in the future. When they give you those, uh, look here, do this, check that, don't hesitate, not even for a moment. Do you're it. going to find the perfect place that you want to be, and you're going to find the stuff you're looking for and the information you need. Perfect. Yes. I've been, I've been okay. contemplating that. And Relax about that. They're bringing it to you at the right time in the right way. That's what I kept feeling. They, they when are. And it was definitely. Pay attention ever. and, and, and they will let me know. Grandma is, um, we're going to call her Grandma Butterscotch, is definitely leading you to the things that you need to know and need to see yeah. to be able to make the, again? Again, very much so. Yes, I love so. that. Um, to, to the things you need to see and the things you're going to need to make the next steps, to, to be in that place, to make that move you need to make, whatever that move is for you, okay? And that's coming soon. I feel it uh, is. I feel like it's going to be, this is going to definitely start within a month, Mm -hmm. And then after that month time, it's going to be step, 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 step. So you're, it, it's mm -hmm. going to start within a month, and then there are going to be distinct steps you have to follow to get where you need to be. And if you follow these steps, it, it, it's going to be like going down a slide. There will be no complication, okay? Mm -hmm. So do you have another question? I did about my daughter. Okay, excellent. I don't know. Let's ask She's, about your daughter. She is um, contemplating going to Virginia, to Norfolk, Virginia, for college at Old Dominion University. She hasn't actually committed yet. <clears throat> okay, where else is she thinking about? Marquette. <clears throat> okay. I feel like um, there's going to be a third option coming in. Both of these options are really good, mm -hmm. um, but something else is going to be presented to her, and it's going to be really strong. She's going to be um, almost pulled to this. There's going to be no other place that she can go. Um, has she talked to you about any other places yet? Mm, I don't think so. I can't remember. Okay, give me a second again. I feel like, okay, if it's down between these two, it's going to be Marquette, mm -hmm. okay? I feel like it, but I feel like a third choice is going to come in, and that third choice is going to be the dominant choice for her. Okay. Okay. It is absolutely going to be the dominant choice. She's going to want to uh, be immersed in it. And I feel mm -hmm. almost like there's some monies yeah. involved with this choice that are going to make her 
think this is the right choice for me. It's, um, I see a lot of green with it. So that's either money or that's their color. But I'm probably money. Because money is the issue right now. Because she right. doesn't have enough to get going. and. I feel like there might be some scholarships coming in or some monies coming in for this choice that she's going to make. It's going to be someplace, you know what? It's going to pop up with her in within her radar very, very soon. Okay. It's almost like somebody's going to be talking to her about it mm -hmm. and she's going to say, that's it, that's what I need to do. Now, is she, is it possible for her to get scholarships for sports or something like that? Because I see, I see, um, do you see sailing? I see <laughs> basketball. Basketball. I see that that to me is a scholarship sign. Okay. That the, the, people usually get scholarships for sports, mm -hmm. so that's their scholarship si signal or okay. symbol to me is they'll show me some sort of scholarship. Wherever she's going to go, she's going to, I feel like she's going to be pulled to this place because there's going to be funding available for her at this place that is not available at the other places. Okay. And that again may be the scholarship thing. They're offering a scholarship in this area that these other places do not. And that's going to be her defining moment where she says, absolutely, let's do this. And she's going to get a scholarship for something she absolutely loves too. That should be coming in very, very soon. So be aware mm -hmm. that that, uh, be on the lookout for that. Okay. She's going to perk up a lot because she's Cause it's a like lot of she's pressure. Just she hasn't quite committed to nothing. She's, it's like it's not right, and she's just... Right. It's because they're why. not the right places, yeah. Okay. The right place hasn't come in yet, um, and it's a lot of pressure because she... You know, we all have that internal guide mm -hmm. leading us one way or the other. She kind of knows that this isn't the, these aren't the right places for her. The right place is coming, and I keep seeing... I keep seeing green... And I, I'm a little bit hesitant to say this, mm -hmm. but it's, it's a, I think it's a little Irishman mascot, a little Irish guy mascot. But mm -hmm. you know what? That's just a symbol. It might, lit it might literally be that this, I keep, it, like maybe it's like Duke with this Irish yeah. mascot because yeah. I keep hearing Duke and seeing the mascot. But that might be, also it could mean it's like Duke and they have these things. But we'll wait and see what pops in, and I'll be happy to hear yeah, that me too. in the future. Because it just didn't feel right with right. the other. It just, something's you, just not right with it. It's, those aren't the places she's supposed to go. If she had to choose between the two of them, it would end up being Marquette. But there's a third choice coming in that's going to be a very good and powerful choice for her. Very good and powerful. So did you have another question? Housing, because we had been looking at houses, mm -hmm. building, and and nothing seems to feel right. Is this housing for you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Family. There's a reason that that's not feeling right yet. Yet, because it's not time yet. It's not time yet, and the dynamics of your move are going to change. The dynamics of your move are going to change. So a month or so. Oh, you said about a month within a month and at six weeks you're going to understand why nothing is working out you can slow that looking down mm -hmm. because work on cleaning up the house we're in getting it getting it ready to go yes get everything ready to go start packaging things up there's still going to there's absolutely going to be a relocation mm -hmm. i um, felt that for a while so start yes. make it easy on yourself don't wait to the last minute, yeah. make sure the things that you want are all placed appropriately in boxes, and know that the dynamics mm -hmm. of your move are going to change. So the way you're looking now is not the way you're going to be looking in about a month and a half. In about six weeks, yeah. right at that six week mark, you're gonna know exactly what you want. And I know this might not sound right to you, and when they say this, I'm going to explain it a little bit. You might even start looking at some condos mm -hmm. and do that condo living easy maintenance thing. If it's not a condo, that means it might be a smaller, um, a smaller place that you're going to be thinking about. 
Um, we I did want to go down to a ranch style because we have this big colonial house. Okay. Yeah. I feel like as soon as you get that cleaned up and you're more than halfway there with your personal packing and, and making sure everything is in order, you're going to find what you're looking for. But please remember the dynamics of your move are going to change. You're all of a sudden going to be instead of how can i say this appropriately instead of maybe instead of looking at a, what we want you're going to be more focused on what you want and where you yeah really feel good instead of being so concerned about everybody else because you've always done this thing where you sacrifice what you want for what everybody else wants. Mm -hmm. Now you're gonna be like, you know what, I think I really want this and this is what I'm gonna look at and, and, let's, and it's gonna come up just like that for you. Mm -hmm. It's gonna come up just like that for you. Good. I'm and quite... I feel like it's gonna be in somewhat of the same area. Logistically, it's going to be close to where you are, but it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be what you think it's going to be. At this moment, what you're looking for right now is not what you're going to end up with is the best way for me to say that, okay? That's fine. Excellent. I, just, I knew I've had the feeling for a while that it's time to move on. Yeah, absolutely. Very much time to just spring cleaning and move it out. Yeah, good, <laughs> good, good. So did you, um, before I, I go, go on and keep talking, because you know I can talk forever, That's did okay. you have another question? I'm, I have a friend who I take care of. His name is Joe. I don't know what Joe's significance is and where is Joe close to being going close to being going home to God. Okay. So when it comes that's a really good question, thank you. Um, when it comes to going home, we have a little bit we have a final exit point and then if things get a little too difficult, we have exit points prior to that. Mm -hmm. um, he's been close to an exit point for quite some time. There is another exit point coming up for him, but he has choice. If he wants to stay a little longer, he can. Um, we do have a final exit point. The one coming up is not his final exit point. It is not. It's, um, it's a exit point, but it's not the final one. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like to give predictions mm -hmm. on when somebody can go back home because um, because it, it's it, they can choose not to do it at that time. Now I will tell you I can see who's with him and I can see who's ready to. It's his. Um, there's. A, did he lose a child? Because I see him walking into the light with an older person and a child. So this might be a sibling that he lost when he was younger. Somebody who went at a younger age is there, with, and they're with him now, they're with him now. Mm -hmm. He's having a lot of dreams about the other side and about going home. So just know it is getting close, mm -hmm. but he has some decisions to make. And there's one last thing he has to do that he can do before he goes home. When we get to that final point where we're about ready to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. go back home we start thinking about things that uh, the past comes up we start reliving the past and but this time when we relive it we see it very differently mm -hmm. we have a new understanding of it so he's for lack of a better way of stating this he's healing a lot right now in his sleep time a lot of these things from the past that are coming up He's getting new understanding mm -hmm. and healing for it. Okay, so if I if I were going to give a time frame, I know I'm not going to. Yeah. But there is an exit point coming up. It's up to him if he wants to take it or not. He could. Mm -hmm. It's okay if he does. But again, if he's afraid or he feels like there's something undone, mm -hmm. he won't take that exit. Point, okay okay but they are prepping him I can tell you his loved ones and his angels are prepping him right now to go home and I'm sure when you're with him you feel the I do the intenseness I do. right it's so yes. intense it it's is so intense yes it it's amazing it's like oh but you know the, it's the illness it's so many things it's like you know 
it's okay to go and right. and not have to suffer. But yeah. How do I say this? Yeah. There's a point of suffering is sometimes part of our lesson. Mhm. Which is a really amazing part of our lesson. So we only have a couple minutes left here mm -hmm. and mom wants to give you a message and grandma wants to give you another message. So okay. I want to make sure that I get these messages. I'm going to start with mom and the first thing she wants to say and notice like that's mom because she's holding a baby. Yeah. Mom is coming in and mom is very emotional and the emotions are coming through me and she I wants you to know that you are, you are completely loved and don't settle for anything less. It's so I have. <laughs> it's so difficult for her to look down and to see the struggles that you're going through and what it has done to you. It has compromised your values for yourself and it has compromised your heart. Oh yeah. And she wants you to know that this should stop and that you need to be true to who you are and to make sure you have Peace. Peace is what she's showing me. Peace. She's saying she loves you so much. And then grandma wants to step in too and say, you know, there was a time when women didn't have a choice, but now you do. Don't make viable reasonings as to why you cannot make strong decisions as to why you should. And this is her whole stance. She was a very powerful, buxom woman. <laughs> and she's saying, just because those before you had to suffer doesn't mean you she do. Did. Grandma did. Yeah, and she's saying that doesn't mean that you do. And that's what she's saying, that you, you, do, you no longer have to suffer. You are free of this. Uh, get the goods and go. Mm -hmm. Get the goods and go. Chris, I want to thank you so much. And of course, Grandma wants to say she absolutely loves you and adores you, and she's going to help you collect all of the things you need to collect before you go. Thank you so much for being here on this edition of Psychic Medium, Tony thank Green. You. It was an honor to read for you. It Thanks. is absolutely my pleasure. And I'd like to say thank you for tuning in and watching this reading. Being a psychic medium since for as long as I can remember is the best way to put it. One thing that I understand is this. We are here for love. First, to love ourselves unconditionally, and that love exudes out of us to everyone else. So please, be love. Don't go to get love. Be love and let it go to everyone else. Thank you for joining us and have an amazing week. Thank you.